you ever wondered about Las Colinas? I mean, it sounds like its own city, but it's not a city. It has tons of businesses, so can you even live here? Well, in this video, we're gonna talk about all things Las Colinas. We're gonna talk about where to work, where to live, things to do, dining, retail. We're even gonna talk a little bit about green space. So, if you've been wondering about Las Colinas, stay tuned. If this is your first time to the channel, welcome, glad to meet you. My name is Wendy Pinnell. I am a local real estate broker here in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. If you want to know everything there is to know about living in Dallas or any one of its many suburbs, including Las Colinas, be sure to hit that subscribe button and click on that little bell. We have been in the business since 2007. We're a family brokerage working with buyers and sellers just like you every day. And of course, we absolutely love it. <laughs> so if you like the idea of our family working with yours, be sure to head on down to that description section. Look for our Let's Find Home questionnaire. You know, you're also welcome to call us. You can text us, you can send us an email. Really, any one of those ways work. We're just glad to help you find home in Dallas, Texas, or you know, any one of its suburbs. Now, today we are out here in Las Colinas. You know, and Las Colinas, it's just a strange little animal, isn't it? I mean, it's a weird. You want to think is it's a city because it has all this name recognition, you know, but it's not a city, you know, and, and, it, and, and it seems like it should be way more than a master plan subdivision, right? Because, you know, when we hear master plan subdivision, we think of like a neighborhood, you know, with a pool and a playground, right? And yet, it is a master plan subdivision with so much more. <laughs> okay, so what exactly is Las Colinas? Well, it starts with a man by the name of Ben Carpenter, and he had like this fantastic vision. He's looking out at this plot of land that's like nine square miles, right? And it's all swampy and has all these drainage issues, but he's like this visionary and he has this plan for this area, right? So he gets permission from the city of Irving, you know, and what he wants it to be, he wants it to be really dense, densely populated. He wants it to be urban, right? He wanted it to be urban, but at the same time, he wanted to have both businesses and people living right next door. So in his mind, he's picturing high rise type office buildings right next to houses, right? You know, he also wanted there to be plenty of nature while at the same time, everything being fully functional. So I'm sure everybody was like, yeah, I can just picture now the Irving City Council is like, what are you crazy? <laughs> but he wasn't and Ben Carpenter pulled his idea together and we end up with this beautiful area of Las Colinas. Uh, and I got to tell you, everything is held together by this beast of a basically homeowners association <laughs> called the Las Colinas Association, right? So they're going to handle everything from property compliance, architectural control, and common area maintenance. And now, to kind of give you an idea of size, because I think this is really interesting, Las Colinas is three times as big as Watauga, twice as big as Addison, and yet every single square inch of it is maintained and overseen by the Las Colinas Association. So what ends up happening is you have like this miniature paradise in the middle <laughs> of the entire Metroplex. Anyway, so really neat. I want to take you around. We're going to look at several things today. I really kind of want to give you the flavor of Las Colinas. You know what? And after you watch this video, you're going to be like, okay, hey, now Las Colinas isn't a mystery anymore. <laughs> okay, so from here, I'm going to take you on over. Let's go take a look at some retail and dining. So let's go. As you can see, we are out here at one of the most happening retail and dining spots in Las Colinas. And you know, my favorite thing about the area is how walkable it is. And really, you can find everything you want in this area without having to get back in the car. Uh, you've got the cork and pig for like your pizza, you know, casual entree type of dinner. You've got Hugo's in the background if you want something a little nicer. You've got your coffee house. You've got your ice cream with the cream mystery. Uh, you know, so a lot of play. Oh, and listen, I got to tell you this. Would you believe they even have a dog deli here? You know, so if you're here with your fur baby, you can bring them on in there. You can order something for yourself and something for Fido at the same time. So yeah, so a lot to offer here. I think Ben Carpenter really achieved his plan here of the walkable dining, you know, but the question is, 
did he achieve his plan with businesses? So stay tuned, we're about to go find out. You know, a big part of Ben Carpenter's plan was businesses, and he definitely accomplished that. You know, but among his vision of these businesses was he wanted them to be beautiful as well. So, you know, remember he was visioning sort of these skyscraper type of businesses that were also beautiful. And really, you can see behind me, he accomplished that. Uh, in fact, you know, and a lot of business people have taken him up on it. Did you know in Las Colinas alone, there are 5,000 companies? Right, so this same Las Colinas that's only nine square miles <laughs> has 5,000 companies. Included in those companies, 12 of them are Fortune 1000 companies. In fact, eight of the 25 largest companies in the Dallas-Fort Worth area are right here in Las Colinas. Crazy, right? Now, in those same 12,000 acres, 125,000 employees, right? <laughs> Amazing, right? It's very tech center oriented, lot of engineering companies. Um, familiar ones are like ExxonMobil, Kimberly Clark, right? So you can see really that Ben Carpenter pulled off his idea of making it a strong business hub. We've seen, you know, that he succeeded at making it with dining that's very walkable in nature, you know, but also part of Ben Carpenter's plan was that he wanted residential mixed right in with the businesses and the walkable nature. So let's go take a look now. We're gonna see if he got what he wanted with residential. So let's go. We are out here at the Grand Treviso condos. Uh, check it out right here by the Mandalay Canal. And these particular condos were built in like the 2001 to 2002 range. Uh, the average sold price per square foot, $289 per square foot. This one has a really a lot to offer. It has an outdoor lounge, has a rooftop pool with spa and tub. Uh, the HOA here is a paltry $861 per month. <laughs> you know, what's neat about it though, is it's right off Lake Canal, right off the beautiful Mandalay Canal, Lake Carolyn, so close to the dining that you could definitely walk there. Uh, you know, so this specific unit behind me, okay, right in here in this, very tall condo is listed for three hundred ninety-eight thousand. It's priced at two hundred seventy-five, seventy, two hundred seventy-two dollars a square foot. Which you know the average sold price is two hundred eighty-nine dollars per square foot. So that's you know that's a good deal. <laughs> it is a two-bedroom, two-bath, two-car garage with you know right around like fourteen fifty square foot. It's like one thousand four hundred fifty-nine square foot. It's Beautifully updated with marble countertops, shaker cabinets, got your nice mosaic backsplash. Uh, of course, stainless steel appliances, luxury vinyl plank, tile in the bathrooms, framed mirrors. So really just a beautiful condo. And again, in a fantastic location with that beautiful community resort style rooftop patio and pool. So anyway, so that kind of gives you an idea of the residential right here in Las Colinas, but never fear. They also have more maybe what you're thinking of in terms of a detached regular home, right? And we're gonna go take a look at that next, so stay tuned. We are out here at Hackberry Creek Village because I wanted to show you that Las Colinas isn't just about condos. They also have some beautiful, luxurious single family homes. You know, houses here are selling at an average of $185 per square foot. Your average sales price about 611,000, something like that and some change. So, you know, if you lived in Las Colinas but didn't commute, you might pick a neighborhood like this. You'd be talking like a 20 minute commute to Dallas, 30 minute commute to Fort Worth about a 10 minute commute to the airport. So it'd be phenomenal if you had to travel with work. Anyway, HOA here, $3,300. 
somewhere in that range, a year. <laughs> I know I had you panic there if you thought it was per month. Uh, the house behind me uh, is for sale for $525,000. So let me show you that real quick. It's priced at $185 a square foot, so in keeping with the area. Uh, it's 2,829 square foot, built in 1999. It's a three bedroom, two and a half bath, two car garage granite countertops, mosaic backsplash, absolutely lovely, stainless steel appliances, hardwood, floor, tile in the bathrooms, separate vanities, framed uh, framed mirrors, right? So everything you would expect in a beautifully updated home, even though it's a little bit on the older side. Uh, so anyway, this gives you a good idea of the single family home sector in Las Colinas. So we're gonna drive you a little bit through the neighborhood and then we're gonna wrap it up at the Lake Carolyn Loop. So let's go. You know, another thing that Ben Carpenter really wanted Las Colinas to include was a nature aspect, green space, beauty. And as you can see right in here, he definitely accomplished this. We are out here on the Lake Carolyn Loop, right? And this thing winds all the way around Las Colinas. It'll take you through all the way around Lake Car uh, Carolyn, as well as through the Mandalay Canal. And remember, when Ben Carpenter was looking at this, you know, people were like, oh, it's all swampy, it has drainage issues. He made that into something beautiful, right? It's a 3.2 mile loop trail and just so scenic. And you'll see people out here all the time, out here with their fur babies, you know, or out here with their kiddos, just enjoying this beautiful loop. Uh, anyway, so yeah, he accomplished what he wanted, built a beautiful urban retail dining, walkable nature. Wow, pulled it all together <laughs> in Las Galinas. Now tell me, was this video helpful? Do you feel like you have a better understanding of Las Colinas now? And remember, Las Colinas is just an area within Irving. <laughs> anyway, very nice. And listen, if this video is helpful, next best thing you can do is head on over to my YouTube channel and check out another video, right? Because there's a lot of them there, a lot of vlog tours, a lot of map tours. You know, and while you're there, be sure and hit that subscribe button, click on that little bell. You know, and listen, if you've got to move in your future and you're interested in our family helping yours, be sure to look for that Let's Find Home questionnaire. You're going to find that under the description section as well. You know, or you're welcome to give us a call, drop us a text, send us an email. Really, any one of those ways work. We're just glad to get connected and help you find home in the Dallas area. But listen, in the meantime, thank you so much for joining me this beautiful sunny day. And listen, have a great day. Thank you.